This kind of stuff just makes your stomach turn. In my 32 years on the force, I've never seen anything this grisly. Yeah, I'd say based on the lacerations on the neck, the uh, killer probably slit his throat and made him watch in that mirror right there. Are we any closer to catching this sick freak? This is the seventh murder that fits the same pattern, and the only real clue we've got is one cryptic letter. Yeah, I'm not so sure it does fit the pattern, Chief. You see there's some uh, hand lacerations. Makes me think there was like a struggle before the victim died. I mean, that's my theory, at least. Uh, we don't know that. I didn't want to have to do this, but we're going to have to call in the best of the best. No, 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 Chief. They're too unconventional. I'm sorry. It's the only choice we've got. Get in here, boys! Hey, everyone! <laughs> Yeah, 
They shouldn't be walking the streets. Oh, this city needs someone to clean it up. Someone like me! At what cost? Oh, now you respect my process, Chief. <laughs> yeah, I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for this magic dog. <laughs> Weird hyper kid, I guess. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's right, Blue. You're not a magic dog. You're just the best damn police detective we've got on the force. <laughs> Way to go, Blue. You sought another serial killer. 